Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new guide where I take on a skill and I go through the fastest XP method and compare it to the most profitable method as well as a few good methods in between because unless you've got a twisted bow as a drop there is always going to be some skills in which you need to make money or do more efficiently and can't just always go for the fastest XP which are generally very expensive ways to train. And the skill we're going to concentrate on today is cooking. And I'm going to do four of the best methods available, starting with the one with the most XP and ending up with the one that's going to make you bank. And in all of these methods, I will never do something that gives you zero XP or very, very little XP. The point is to still be able to train, but also make money and compare that to the methods that a lot of people do where you just flat out get a lot of XP to see actually how much more beneficial it is to pay a lot of money for the top training methods. So the method I'm going to do for the most XP is jugs of wine, which are not only fantastic XP, but they can also be done at just 35 cooking. Now there is a better method, which is one ticking Karam ones. Now the problem with that method is it's heavily click intense, and I really don't think it's for many people whatsoever. But if you do want purely the best XP, even though it is really sweaty and really intense, check out the cook Karam bon guide. It is about 900k experience per hour. That method is not for many people whatsoever. And in each of these methods, I'm going to do a thousand of each so I get a really accurate picture of how much XP and how much profit or loss you're going to make in each single method. So the best thing about jugs of wine is it only costs 66,000 GP for a thousand jugs of wine. Not only great experience, but you really don't need that much money to start this process. And to make jugs of wine, all you do is add grapes to jugs of water, and after a while you get an XP drop. Now, if you keep making jugs of wine, you won't get the XP drop until you stop making them for around 5 or 10 seconds. Now, you don't lose any XP whatsoever. Waiting, it just means you get a bigger XP drop in one hit if you wait till the end. As I will show you in this video, as I didn't cash in any of the XP apart from the first load until the end of the 1000. So that is the 1,000 done in 26 minutes, nearly 27 minutes, to do 1,000 jugs of wine. And now we're going to see the XP drop come up, which is always great to see when you're doing this method. It's rubbish that you're not getting any XP before this, but there you go, 197,200 XP, which is a fantastic experience. And that just took 26 minutes. The downside to wine is you do make a loss because the wine, after you've made it, is only worth 3 GP each. That's only 3k for them 1,000 jugs, but they're not very expensive in the first place. So over the course of an hour, that would give an XP rate of 453k per hour and a loss of 142,000 GP per hour. The next method I want to do is just some fish. Now, you do make a small amount of money, whichever one you're doing. I'm doing monkfish because I wanted to do a kind of a mid-range food. And again, I've got 1,000. I'll quickly do these and then I'll come back to you with the figures and this is just the last ones now i'm going to cook as you can see 197,000 xp per hour so still good xp obviously not a patch on the wine but still quite good experience doing the monkfish they burn 45 of the monkfish but that still gives me 305,600 gp which is what they're worth now which is still a very small profit and some decent xp as well to go with it so the monkfish is 256k less XP per hour, but you make 78k per hour doing it rather than losing 142k. Not enough personally to swing it for me. I would still rather go for wines with those figures, but we still have another two methods to compare against. And I'm just here to give you the figures. You can decide on your own whether you think it's worthwhile doing. And the next method is pineapple pizzas. And the problem with most other food and cooking skill is they normally need a lot of ingredients or if they only need one ingredient, they're normally really rubbish XP outside of just cooking fish and meat. With very few exceptions. Now this is one of them. This is pineapple pizzas. And you just buy plain pizzas and you add the pineapple to it. And whilst it's not the best XP, it's only 45 XP each one. It's much faster than cooking fish. So it does counter that and it's still decent XP. The ingredients cost 573k and all you do is you put pineapple chunk or ring on a pizza. The rings are cheaper because when you cut a pineapple it gives four rings when you do that. So generally they're always cheaper than the GE but just check. And then you simply just add them to the pizza and that is it. 
And the best thing about this method is you don't need a range to do it and you can't burn any at the same time. So if you don't have access to the myth skill like I do and you have to go quite far to a range, it's actually a much better method than it's going to come across in this video the last of the pizzas now as you can see there's a thousand and i've done that in just over 26 minutes so really quite quick all of the xp drops aren't as big you do make them a lot quicker than cooking fish that is 101k per hour xp if we price check them they are now worth 725k and over the course of the hour to go with that 101k experience you also make 346,000 gp per hour which for high level players probably won't interest them, but for low level players it's definitely a very good money maker. And they can be made at just 65 cooking. And finally the last method is a fiddly one, and it is the most profitable for that very reason. It's a little bit of a pain to do, but I'll show you the way to do it so you can make a couple each time. Now there's a lot of ingredients in this one, and you will have to put the offers in the GE and wait a while. This is all of the ingredients you need to make a Blurberry special. So to make each Blurberry special, you need one cocktail glass, one lemon chunk, one orange chunk, a lime slice, equa leaves, two lemons, an orange, a brandy, a gin, and a vodka. And all you do is just select the quantity X at the bottom of your bank and set the quantity to two. Put all the items in a row in your bank and then all we're going to do is we're going to click on each item once apart from the lemons which we're going to click on twice. And that means you're going to take out each time enough to make two of these drinks. Then you click on the cocktail mixer and then select Blurberry Special and then select the Create button. And once you've done that click the cocktail mixer again and that will put the topping onto the drink. Click the cocktail mixer again and just repeat for every Blurberry Special. You can make two per inventory and once you get that setup done it's actually a lot quicker than you probably think it just seems so awkward when you've got so many ingredients to make one item of food but it's actually not bad experience and not as bad as you think once you get into a bit of a routine with this one now they are a bit more time consuming so i only done a hundred of these and i did accidentally drink two of them but we won't go into that which is the other downside with this method but i still made quite a lot of money doing it so i'll show you the figures and the 98 drinks are now worth 335,000 GP each. And that only took 15 minutes to make. So over the course of an hour, this method actually makes 900K, 903K to be exact. And there's some people who put money makers out there for that kind of money. And you're still getting 71,000 cooking experience. Now it might be that you think cooking's not the skill that I want to make money on. And you go in for the wines. That's fine. All of a sudden it's not so cut and dry as to whether you go for the wines or you go for the Blurberry specials. Because you can make a lot of money and you're still getting some reasonable cooking experience while making a lot of money. That's the whole point of what I want to do with this series is just to go through each different skill. Just to show that in some skills the best experience is the way to go all the way. But in other skills the money difference just isn't worth it. And it's better to do the next method and make a bit of money or even sometimes make a lot of money. Thanks for watching. I'm going to do another skill next week as well. So if you want to see that please sub. And I'll have another one out for you next week. Thanks for watching.